Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, the seat of Shortland has over 40,000 people over the age of 60. It's a fabulous place to retire, and we have many people coming up from Sydney and other places. We are at the focal point of the aged care crisis in this nation, Mr Deputy Speaker. I meet with aged care residents. I meet with their families very regularly where they have huge issues, huge challenges to face. I meet with the workers there who face low pay, considerable pressures on their time. And now for the Prime Minister to suddenly discover there's a problem with the aged care sector, it's the equivalent of someone robbing a bank and then complaining about bank security. Because this is the bloke who, as Treasurer, cut $2 billion from aged care budgets in this country. $2 billion, Mr Deputy Speaker. We have 108,000 people on the home care package waiting list, 88,000 of them with high needs such as dementia, and we have a workforce that will triple in the next couple of decades. But all we get from this government is excuses, denials that they are the problem, denials that they cut $2 billion while constituents in my electorate and every other electorate in this country suffer. Well, the public won't cop it. They see through this mop, they see through the prime muppet, and they say enough is enough. People in aged care facilities, their families, the workers want real solutions to the challenges they face, not grandstanding from a government that cut $2 billion from the sector. Yeah.